Sponge Guitars and welcome to my shop. So today I want to talk to you about standing guitars. It's something I haven't really touched on much. I did do a little video on painting headstocks and stuff like that, but I wasn't real in depth with that. But I thought today I'd talk about actually standing the bodies and, and the neck, the headstocks, and uh, the process that I go through to get the transparent looks that I want, the colors that I want on uh, nice woods like curly maple and, and uh, quilted maple and stuff like that. So what I have here is a 613 CS. Now this is very similar to a Artisan. There's, some, there's a, a few subtle differences, but uh, I'll explain that in another video. But this is a 613 CS. And what I've done to this is I've already stained it black. And the reason why I stained it black is because I want to get this this figure in this curly maple you can see these lines running down here I want to get that to pop uh, when I put the actual color that I'm going to do on it so this one this this body is actually a, um, a terrified basswood or roasted basswood body and it took the stain I, I wasn't sure how it was going to do but it looks pretty good um, the figure is not anything great, anything worth talking about, really. Um, it's, the customer wants it black on the back side, so I stained it anyways. I stained it black. I wouldn't keep it like this because it's really nothing beautiful to see about it. So I'm, on, I'm, going, yeah, I'm going to spray uh, some black on the back of this guitar. He wants a black back, white binding, and a green stain on top. But it's not going to be your traditional kind of stain where you, I'm bursting it. In other words, it's lighter in the middle. As it goes out to the edges, it's darker. And it, it fades around the shape of the guitar. This is more like, um, and I'll put a picture up of, of one of the guitars I've done already like this for the same individual. It's a blue guitar. And I'm not sure if I'm going to go this way with it or that way with it. I'm going to take it out here uh, as I'm going through the process. I think I might fade it this way. But what it's going to do is... It's going to fade dark to light and into dark again. It's going to be in this angle, this diagonal kind of a uh, flow. Like I said, not your traditional going around. It's going to flow dark to light, then light to dark that way. Hopefully you understand what I'm saying. But you'll, you'll see it here in a little bit. <clears throat> so, first process was to uh, stain it all black. This does two things. One, it... it Let's the black stain penetrate into these um, this figure right here of the curly maple. Another thing is it shows you little scratch marks that were left over that I I really couldn't see when I was sanding this thing out, but they pop here and they'll disappear after I'm done sanding this with 320. And I'm gonna sand it down light where you're still gonna see some of the streaks of the the curly maple. And then what I'm gonna do after that is put another coat on it. Let that soak in a little bit, do another light sanding on it, and that'll tell me also again if I got any more scratches left in the finish. And then when that's set, I'll put the color on it. And I'm going to do the same thing with the headstock. This headstock right here is going to be the same way. It's going to have a, a green kind of angle to it. And uh, this, this powder weight is, is a roasted curly maple neck and a roasted bird's eye maple fingerboard. The tops on this, the top of the headstock and the top on this guitar are both just regular maple, uh, regular curly maple, I should say. Um, it's not roasted. Um, it, it's because I had to do a bend over the angle of the, of the arm relief and all that stuff. I just didn't know how much roasted maple would bend and all that stuff. I, I don't know. The first time I worked with it was with this. So, um, and how it was take stain. And I think it's better this way. This will take the stain a lot better. That's just my opinion. We're going to see how this comes out here in a moment. Uh, so anyway, that's about all I can say about that. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start sanding this out. And I'm going to get it down to uh, the bare, almost bare wood color again. With just the streak showing. And then, uh, like I said, I'll, go, I'll do it again. All right, let's get into this. So I got it all sanded out again. The black is at the point I need it to be. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to just go with a solid green 
all the way across and let that dry a little bit and then I'm gonna start going a little darker and I'm gonna do the angle I think I'm gonna go this way with it I'm gonna go in this angle right here um, and then we'll see how that comes out. If I don't like it, I can always take a little bit of denatured alcohol here and wipe a lot of it off. It'll, it'll come off. The stuff I'm using is uh, it's an aniline dye, like this here, the uh, color tone from Stumac. I also use the trans tint. They're both the same stuff. I think Stumac just puts their label on it. It's all really trans tint stuff. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the green. And uh, you can use this stuff on water finishes, uh, any kind of any kind of finish really, can, it blends well with lacquer or other types of finishes. So, anyways, I think this might be a little too light right here. So, yeah, it's a little too light. Let me darken this up a little bit and uh, see if we can get a good absorption on it. I'm gonna add some more tint to this. I was kind of wondering if I had enough in there, but obviously not. It's one of those things, man, you gotta, you just gotta test it. You know, you just gotta keep adding more until you get the color you need. Like I said, if it comes out too dark, you can always put some, and I mix all, everything I do is with DNH alcohol. I don't do water uh, stains, and you can add this to water as well. Um, I just always do it with DNH alcohol. Maybe I'll try it with water someday. But uh, let's see here. Let's see if this is dark enough. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I'm not worried about this binding. The binding will clean up. So, kind of boring. But, well, I don't want to get too much on the binding. Let's go down into the color coat here. Try not to spill it over the edge. really bringing out some of these other little imperfections of the uh, the top but you can see how it's it's definitely pulling out the grain the stuff that we made black it's really enhancing it of course when it dries it doesn't look as good okay so I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna do a little bit more I'm gonna go I'm gonna go a little darker on this one just a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more to it. And then I'm gonna start doing my um, angle. You can see how it even pulled off a little bit of the, the black. And you'll find some areas of lumber, for some reason, it just doesn't take stain. There's a little spot here, it's, it's gonna take a little bit to get it in there, but that's just the nature of the beast here. Let me go a little bit more, put a little bit more in here. Let's see if I can get it a little darker. All in all, a lot of it's probably gonna come back off again especially in this center area, the angle that we're going to do. And then, uh, you know, I'll, I'll show this to the customer, which is cool. You know, you're in contact with the customer. You say, hey, what do you think of this? And you may say, oh, man, that's great. Or maybe a little lighter, maybe a little darker. Right, let's not forget my headstock. stock. 
And this headstock is from the same piece of lumber that the top came from. They come from the same piece. Get this folded up a little better. <clears throat> Once again, I apologize for the audio. I don't think it's all that great. Because my mic is not really picking up. There's something wrong with my, my cam. Well, it's not a cam. I'm using a, a phone. But I'm looking to get a nice camera. I think it's time. Time to get a little more professional here. With the videos. Okay. I like that. I like that color. Now it's going to be darker here. Well, I'm, oh, my, oh no, I'm going to go this way. I think I'm going to go this way. There to there. Start up here and work this way. Let me cross this way here. All right, I'm going to let that dry a little bit and we'll get back to it. Now, as you can see, I put a, a tape line underneath, kind of just to keep me uh, in the right orientation. And this little line is just, just to keep my body of the guitar straight in line, just to keep me, just to guide me. I don't know, I probably don't need it, but I'm going to do it anyways. So now, I'm going to go darker. On that angle, I'm going to stay on this trajectory here. Uh, right about here, I guess. And you know, it's all going to blend. Nice and dark here on the edge, up to this horn, okay it might not look like much there but what I'll end up doing is taking away a little bit of the green from the center and blending everything in, do the same on this. Uh, let's do it like this here. Dark on the edge. We need the center light. And then everything will get blended in. Well, it's going to be a process. Uh, I'm going to speed things up uh, the clips so you can kind of see how it blends in instead of boring you to death with me doing this. I'll just work at it back and forth with uh, some denatured alcohol and the clean rag and I'll take some out and I'll, I'll blend some into these other areas. I may go a little darker out here and here and it should all come together. We'll see.
Well, what I ended up doing was <laughs> shifting it. I had the angle going this way, a little more that way. I wanted it more this way. So I'm lining it up like this. So I shifted everything a little bit. And it's coming out pretty good. These things, I did the same thing to the headstock. These things, they take a while to, to blend and get it just right. I don't know. I'm just looking for something until I see it. Then I'll stop. Once I see it, I'll stop. I'm gonna mess with it just a little bit more. Um, try to blend a little more out here. Uh, get a little lighter in the middle. And just get this, this, these two areas here shaded a little lighter to blend it into the darker side. I think you get what I mean. So I'm gonna work at it a little bit, and when I'm done, I'll, I'll click the uh, camera back on and show you the final product. Let me just work on it a little bit more. Okay, I think I've got it the way I want it right here. Took a little while, but I finally got the vision. So it's got a nice fade from this way, this direction. Faded dark that way and dark that way. I had a little too light in the middle. I kind of darkened up a little bit. It looks pretty even. It might be a little, maybe just a little bit over here. Maybe I need to line up just a little bit in this area right here. But that's pretty much it. I mean, I can just take uh, a little bit of denatured alcohol here. And um, kind of blend it in a little bit more in this area right here. Yeah, that's it right there. It looks pretty good. I like it. Same thing with the headstock. Headstock's got that same angle. It's looking good. So that's how I uh, I blend stains in. Next thing for this is to uh, to apply finish, and that's what's really gonna pop. Okay, I think I achieved what I was looking for. What I was, what I was after. I started out, I had the fade going more across the body this way, lengthways, kind of on an angle, but I, I, I shifted everything and I brought it back the way I wanted it, down this way, from corner to corner, basically. And that's what the customer wanted. It just took me a little bit to, to get that right. And then, um, you know, you add, in the, you add in color, you're taking away color until your eyes and your brain see what you're actually looking for. And it's kind of like, you know, every every uh, top, every piece of lumber is different. It's going to take stain differently. So once I caught my eye, I said, that's it. That's what I'm going for. And there it is. Now, once I put clear coat on it, it's going to really pop. Here's the headstock here. Once I put clear coat on it, you're going to see all this this uh, figure, these, these uh, the curly maple figuring come out. And the color itself is going to pop a little more. So I think he's going to like it. Customer likes this kind of a fade back and forth like this. So anyways, if you like what you saw here today, go ahead and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe and share my videos. And until next time, thanks for joining me here at Les Mouse Guitars.